this curvy design, I'm not even going to use SolidWorks because I think X-Shape is actually a better tool for the job. Now this is subdivision modeling, which begins with a primitive shape where I can adjust the size and starting mesh parameters. Then, using the manipulator, I can push and pull the surface like digital clay. No need to spend hours creating sketches and surfacing features. I can snap entities to a line that I can click and drag the endpoints of. When more detail is needed on a surface, I can subdivide or extrude faces or insert entirely new edge loops. Surface edges can be creased for style and function and adjusted by smoothness and severity. When modeling from 2D sketches, I can jump from one profile to another, making adjustments along the way. Aligning a surface to a curve is as easy as drawing on screen with the cursor. Copying and pasting previous surfaces makes it easy to explore new concepts. I can scale them as needed and then continue sculpting. The Reflect tool quickly creates a mirrored copy of the subdivision surface, saving me the hassle of doing it myself. Of course, section views are available when modeling, and even designed for manufacturability tools such as draft analysis are available. When checking the quality of surfaces, mesh inspection identifies intersecting elements, and sometimes the cage view is useful, which shows the mesh from which the curved surfaces are generated. When I need to focus on a portion of the surface, I can isolate it with the working zone so the rest of the model is left untouched. This is really useful as things become more complex and I start using tools such as soft selection to affect more vertices at once. For more pris prismatic spots, I can flatten areas of the surface to use as sketch planes. Then it's up to me whether I stay in the web browser and take advantage of parametric features from X-Design or bring the model into SOLIDWORKS to do the functional work there. Now staying in the web interface, I can do things like monitor the part performance from the system status, switch from a fillet to a chamfer on the fly, or skip the sketch and immediately start extruding faces. This is what's called a super feature. I can actually toggle between extrude, revolve, and sweep without leaving the property manager. I can even stop and make a new sketch while in the middle of a command. Of course, I have the option to leverage both cosmetic and physical thread options for holes and studs. While thickening faces, any prob problematic areas are highlighted, so I can adjust my surfaces or thickness accordingly. This single modeling environment allows me to create new components from features or bodies and makes rearranging my components and subassemblies pretty darn simple. If I want to get really fancy, I can even switch between the different cloud modeling apps in the same interface. The X generative design takes things to another level with algorithmic approach to modeling, combining interactive 3D geometry and visual sculpting. You use operator boxes to quickly generate complex patterns and watch the model evolve. And of course, if changes are made to the original geometry, patterns update automatically as you'd expect. And anywhere in my 3D experience platform, I can use built-in lifecycle tools to explore and organize the revisions and branches of the design. These tool sets finally allow a SOLIDWORKS user to marry the form and functional worlds.